Guilford County School leaders say the finish line is in sight for the new and improved Brooks Global Study School. Yeah, the Magnet School's old building, which is next to Grimsley High School in Greensboro, dates all the way back to the 1950s. But now the school's in the process of being relocated to a brand new building not far from the Greensboro Arboretum with a 21st century design. School system broke ground on this project back in August of 2022. Fox 8's Elijah Skipper has been updating this story. He is live now on Ashland Drive where this brand new school will be. Elijah, I know a lot of people are excited about this, looking forward to it. After two years of construction, how are things going? Yeah, when this project here came about at Brooks Global, it had an estimated budget of around $22 million. Well, pandemic-related shortages and high costs caused that price tag to more than double to now $45 million. District leaders told me today, though, that that investment will be well worth it. Construction to me is fun altogether. I mean, the smell of the dirt, the smell of the sheetrock dust, the paint. It may not look like much now. It's going to be nice to start seeing some completion, some boxes being checked. But in five months, this site will host hundreds of smiling faces ready to learn at the relocated home of Brooks Global Studies. I know teachers don't like them running up and down the halls, but I think that's the best expression that they love the building. And that's what I'm looking forward to. These hallways and classrooms will educate elementary school students under a global and 21st century learning model. That means open design, movable furniture, everything having an educational purpose. I'm really interested in seeing how the teachers adapt to this new layout and this new methods that they're going to have to learn and, and try and keep the kids' attention because there's a lot of interesting things going on. But they're going to be thoroughly pleased with how the district has funded these things. This project was funded as part of the $300 million Guilford County Schools Bond of 2020. That money was to be used to build five new schools. Since then, supply shortages and issues finding skilled workers have been hurdles. You've got numerous other construction projects going on like the Toyota plant um, and the airport, the construction work at the airport. So those impact our labor as well as our materials, but we're pushing through it. As workers put the finishing touches on construction, that push is now looking to be worth it, with the goal of a January 2025 occupancy date. The fact that you're actually seeing something visualized from paper actually come to a three-dimensional product, and then to have that product be used, and the excitement that it generates with the kids is probably the most valuable thing to me. School construction is focused on sustainability and will have energy efficient HVAC systems, LED lighting and solar panels. It also have a capacity of about 500 to 600 students with the ability to expand. In Greensboro, Elijah Skipper, Fox 8 News. Elijah, thank you.